I am comparing the BCA Link 2 with the Mountain Lab Scout. First reaction, because this is brand new to me today, I haven't actually used it in real life. I have friends and family that have this radio and love it. Um, so obviously I jump ship. <laughs> There's a few key differences that kind of pushed me over the edge. First of all, there is a huge difference in microphones for these two radios. The Mountain Lab has no buttons. It, well, besides the main button to talk. It, that is the only button. This has the two buttons plus your mic button. In theory, this is really good because you can change it on the fly. You don't have to dig into your backpack to change anything. But this builds up with snow, which turns into ice really fast. I have a friend who makes these covers. So uh, this was a new edition last year. So it's a drawstring cover, which was very necessary to keep the snow and ice off. But like I said, again, um, I don't know where you can buy them aftermarket. I had a friend who had a pattern and so she made me one. So that's an extra expense. Um, and then you're back to having your buttons closed off. So you have to remove the cover to make any changes. Whereas the Mountain Lab only has the one key button and everything else is controlled from the mic itself. Um, secondary, if the mic and the body are detached, it's useless. If this and this are detached, I can still use this radio. I can still talk into this radio. You can still key over here and I can still use the radio even if there's a malfunction with the mic. The next thing that I really like about the Scout over the Link radio is the chargers. So this is the Mountain Lab Gear charger. This is the BCA charger. So I tend to lose this, but I just, I lose a lot of things. That's just me. Um, this I will have a harder time losing simply because of the size. So you pop it into the docking station it's charged but what I really like I keep saying that it's also double a battery so if you forget, if you go on a trip and you forget your charger all you need to do is grab a pack of double A's finally the last thing that I really like at first glance is that it actually has a flashlight and it has this orange call button. It says SOS on it. Um, it will not be a GPS SOS. Don't think that this is an inReach by any means. But when you hit that button, it's gonna put a loud alert out so someone will hear you. So I don't know how many times with this radio, I've been trying to get someone's attention and I just sit there and key the mic a bunch of times to try and, to try and get their attention. This has that built in. So you hit the button and it sends out a loud alert. So your friends know that you actually need you. So right off the bat, there's a whole lot of pros for this radio for me. And I'm really excited for you to try. I'm gonna hang on to this because it's always nice to have a radio. There's always somebody in the group that doesn't have one. So I'm gonna keep this in my gear bag to be able to, to lend out to friends. But very, very excited to have this on me this year. Huge thank you to Mountain Lab for hooking me up. I am so fucking excited to be working with this company. They have been incredible, incredible from the get-go. So here's to more really cool things to come.